Matt Oxley here with Stephen Boswell, the COO of the Oxley Institute. We're going to talk to you about taking advantage of a Google search. So here's an advisor at a workshop. After we did this Google search, we had everybody, I had everybody at the workshop, Google search financial advisor or financial planner for their location. You know, so it'd be like financial planner Greensboro or financial advisor Charlotte, wherever they were. So they did that, and this guy yells out, he's an old timer, by the way, this guy's an idiot. And I say, look, I pulled his eye, I looked at his, his smartphone, and it was basically this guy, number one, you know? And I said, wow, who is this guy? He says, he's an idiot. He's, everybody started laughing. And then he said, I got you. It was his name. <laughs> he came out number one. Nice. I said, how the heck does this guy who's about 70 years old come up number one on the Google search? I, you know, it's something we all ought to be aware of. And, you know, Matt, we know the research. It's not as if right now everybody's finding their advisor by searching financial advisor Greensboro, but they're surely doing it more often now than they were a few years ago. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, 95% of everybody does a Google search for anything. So you go out there and you're implementing the number one marketing activity that's successful, which is a personal introduction. You get personally introduced to a potential affluent client, a prospect. And what are they going to do? If you connect with them at all, they are going to Google search you. Maybe before they even get home. Exactly right. <laughs> so I'm looking at this old timer here in this workshop, and he's got a twinkle in his eye. So he was a, he was a, good, a good sport. I said, how the heck did you pull this off? He goes, a lot of work. I hired two people. I don't know what the heck they do. I hired two people on my staff. Their sole job is to get me there and make sure I am positioned properly with a Google search. I said, man, you're a smart guy. He goes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and he but, was. But, you know, think of the takeaway for everybody out there. It's not as if you can flip a switch and tomorrow you're ranked number one on Google for anything. But it right. is important to, number one, Google yourself. Right. Don't be afraid. Right. Right. We've seen people pull up a Google search in a program like that and find a their marijuana mugshot from college right. or right. something else embarrassing about themselves, which, by the way, if you know about it, you can pay somebody to get rid of it. Right. But you know, and not only just Google search yourself, that's kind of ego surfing. But what I had these advisors do is Google search the way if somebody's looking for a financial advisor in your town, what are they going to do? They're going to Google search financial advisor with a specific location or financial planner with a specific location. And by the way, our data is very, very clear on this. The affluent want a financial advisor who does financial planning. So one or the other, you can Google search to oversee every aspect of their family's financial affairs. And what you're going to find more times than not, if you haven't put time and money into search engine optimization, is that you are outranked. You're down the page or on subsequent pages in Google search, which just kills your ability to get any clicks by people who provide inferior services. Exactly right. Now, as this, you know, veteran advisor, he's a wise veteran advisor, by the way, as he told everybody in the workshop, this was two years of work. Mm -hmm. So he invested two years. And I don't know if the people on his staff specifically, that's all they did, but they interacted with the search engine optimization people. They knew the keywords, they monitor this, and now he's reaping the dividends. He's number one, comes up in front of everybody else. And so all of you, your takeaway should be, you know, whether it's financial advisor or making certain that your name is clean with, with the Google search, right? I mean, well, yeah, you bet, Matt. And whether it's paying somebody to help you with search engine optimization or putting out, you know, the more you're on the web with keywords like financial advisor, financial planner in your city, the more likely you are to be found on those first few pages of Google. Right. So if the only website you have is your firm website and it's very sterile, good luck. Yep. Yeah. Yep, uh, yep, yep. Uh, consequently, if you've got a Facebook for business page, if you've got a LinkedIn page, if you've got a blog, if you've got everything your firm allows you to do, you're going to be more likely to be up there. So take action, get visible. And it's not paying off again. It's not paying off today and tomorrow, but the consumer is going online more so now than five years ago. And think of the impact that's going to have in 10 years. So get ahead of the curve. Understand, first of all, the technology, and then take action. And if you have to, hire somebody to do it for <laughs> right. you. All Thanks, for everyone. now.